Hi everyone, this is the last video for now in the Tailwind installation series where I explain how to install and use Tailwind CSS in different ways. This method is for people who prefer not to use Node.js at all but still want to use Tailwind CSS. For this, first we have to download the standalone Tailwind CLI from Tailwind's GitHub releases. The link is in the description and you can also see the page on the left side. Here we have a list of pre built executables that does not require the node.js so just select the file that uh, is required for your operating system they have for linux mac and windows this is for me so i'll just download that and i'll just directly drag it to the project folder that i want to use i'll just rename it to keep it simple because we have to use this inside the terminal so I'll just rename it to Tailwind CSS and here in this empty project is what you have to do is just to initialize Tailwind CSS using this file. So Tailwind CSS space in it. This will create the Tailwind config file. As you can see it created the config file means this is working. Now we have to create a source folder. The process is normal like the other ones you create a source folder and create the input.css in it and paste the tailwind directives there save it now we have to run the build process now instead of npm where we use the node package manager we directly use this file that we downloaded so the command would be this folder and same as how we use it in the HTML project where you input the input.css in source and then you generate an output.css file and then you use it in the HTML file to link the CSS that we created and see the output. And this watch flag is there to continuously watch whenever you make changes it will update the file automatically. So let's do this. Now we have the output.css as well. Let's create the HTML file. And run it by using this go live. And on the left side, you can see the page open, but since we don't have anything, it's not showing anything. Let's add Tailwind CSS. And you can see the text there. Now we just have to import the output CSS file and it should work. Let's save and you should see the font changing. And let's add some background for double checking. Okay, it's not working for some reason. We missed something. I'm sure what it is. It's in the Tailwind config. We did not add the path. So let's add the path here. We specify source folder. And we include all the folders and subfolders inside it. Then we specify the HTML and JS files. Now, if we save this, it should work. Okay, you can see that the background is applied now. Let's add some text color. Yeah, so it works. So you saw we did not install anything. We just downloaded this Tailwind executable and then we are just using it to run the commands. The process is simple. So it's ideal for people who doesn't need uh, Node.js and needs just a simple setup. And this is also only for smaller projects or like quick tests. But it provides this simple setup. It may not offer as many features or integrations as the Node.js version. Despite the limitation, it is a solid option for users looking to avoid Node.js and still leverage Tailwind CSS. But I always recommend to go with the framework if you are really building an ambitious project and want to scale it in the future. But if it's just a static website which you may never change, maybe you can go with the HTML project where you install using NPM. But of course, it's choice. I have given you all the five different methods of using Tailwind CSS. I'm sure most of you use only one or two ways of using this. However, knowing multiple ways exist and making an informed choice of the method you choose 
sets you apart from a lot of developers. I hope you got a lot of value in this series and if you found it useful I recommend that you spread the word and share it with fellow developers who are just starting out with Tailwind CSS. Also like the video and provide your valuable comments to let me know your support. Thank you for watching and happy coding.